the ladies had seen me on various news channels. Throughout a period of the summer, we were doing a campaign on forced marriages and young girls going missing. And underneath my name, the title was Freedom Charity. And I think when I spoke to them, one of the things that really made them want to ring up and ask for help at that moment was they felt they needed their freedom and we were the obvious people to call. And they also said they felt they could trust me because they'd see me on the TV. I think the initial phone conversation that went into our helpline was very traumatic and very difficult, even for our professional staff to take. And then they were just given one person, one point of contact in the charity, and it was very secret negotiations were done with them. And it was also, we did it in a very slow way to gain their trust, because after 30 years of people being held in very difficult circumstances, one of the things we didn't want to do was to add in more, add in more trauma and how and we were going to facilitate their release was crucially important. I've spoken to them yesterday. They're quite traumatised about the media coverage, but they're very relieved to be out. And when I met them, it was a very humbling experience. They all threw their arms around me. Oh. And apart from crying enormously, um, they thanked the charity for the work Freedom had done in saving their lives. And they all said that we have saved their lives. I think it's going to be a very long journey. If you have spent your entire life in captivity and know nothing different, even the smallest freedoms, the smallest things you have no knowledge of. And I think it's going to be a difficult process. And bearing in mind, these ladies have less, left with absolutely nothing, nothing at, at all. all yeah. And it's like the charity were going to have to try and help and support them through this difficult journey.